guys, I'm going to show you how to make your own musical instruments using stuff from around your house. So if you have any Easter eggs left over, you can fill these guys up with stuff and put some tape around it and then it becomes a shaky egg. So I have some wooden buttons. You can use anything. You could use money. You could use rice. I ate all of my rice and I didn't have any rice. So I was like, oh, what am I going to use? But that's perfect because this is supposed to be how to make instruments with stuff that you already have around your house. So I'm going to fill this egg with some buttons. We don't want to fill it all the way because you want to leave room for it to shake. Huh? You can put some tape if you have any like pretty tape you can put around it I because like they have holes so I put tape over the holes just to make sure nothing came out when I did it with rice you can also make it a maraca if you have two uh, like plastic spoons then you can make a handle I didn't have any plastic spoons so you would do it you would put it like this and then you can tape the handles together and you can Shake, shake, shake. You can also, if you have any empty containers, um, I've been collecting my empty containers so I can put stuff in it later. You can even use Legos. Legos are loud, right? Put some Legos in this bad boy. Nice and loud. That's what you want. Shaky. You can make a tooth, a popsicle stick harmonica with two popsicle sticks, toothpick, and some paper. You want to cut a piece of paper that's the same size as the popsicle stick. So you just measure this. And put it bigger anyway. And then you're going to Sandwich that paper in between the popsicle sticks, and then you're going to take two rubber bands. And you're going to rubber band the ends. And then you need a toothpick. You take the toothpick and you're going to cut it in half. You're going to shove one toothpick in between the paper and the popsicle stick. Like this. You can cut it shorter so that the pokey end doesn't stick out. You don't want to get poked. So in between, and then you're going to take the other toothpick. And you're going to shove it in at the other end, but on the opposite side of the paper. So if you're looking at your thing and you've got the toothpick under the paper on this side, you want to put this toothpick on top of the paper on this side. Then, and then you blow on it. The... When you blow on it, the paper vibrates on the toothpicks and it makes a kazoo sound. Um, you can also make a kazoo by using an empty toilet paper tube or an empty paper towel tube and cut it and take some wax paper and put it over the end. Oh, I don't have anything to demonstrate. Like put the wax paper over top of this and use a rubber band to secure it. Secure it and you go into it and it'll sound like a kazoo as well. And lastly, I think this is the last one I have. You can make a castanet using some cardboard. I've got this Coke box and you want to cut a strip, maybe even smaller than that. Then you can hot glue something 
I have pennies. If you don't want to use pennies, you can use something else, something like a bottle cap or I don't know, something else, something flat and like metal or solid that'll make a noise. So you're going to hot glue these to either side of the cardboard. My hot glue gun ready over here. If you're using hot glue, you might want to get your parent to help you so you don't burn your fingers. Hot glue. Hot, hot, hot. And then, so you'll see this. And then you'll fold that in half, increase it. Oops, wait for it to dry so it doesn't get glued together. And when it's dry, you can clack them together. When the glue's dry, then you can you make two. One for each hand. You could also, you can decorate your cardboard. I just glued it to inside. But you can also decorate your cardboard. Make it pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some good ideas for some instruments to make and you can use them at story times. Uh, coming up, I'm doing live Mother Goose on the Loose uh, every Tuesday at 10.30 a.m. and on Facebook and Instagram live and uh, preschool story time on Thursdays at 11.15 on Instagram and Facebook live. So I hope you'll join me for those story times and I'll see you in the next video.